Hi guys, this is Akshat and welcome to another fun session of introduction to cryptography. Today we will learn about three brilliant ciphers and learn how to decipher them. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first cipher is the Polybius cipher. In ancient Greece, Polybius, a historian and scholar of the 2nd century BC, developed a system for reducing the letters of the alphabet to simple pairs of numbers using a device now known as Polybius Square. A Polybius Square is a table that allows someone to convert letters into numbers in order to fit the 26 letters of the alphabet into the 25 cells the letters I and J are usually combined together in a single cell. Fun fact, originally there was no such problem because the ancient Greek alphabets were only 24. If we need to write letter N using poly by square, we see the location of the letter N. It is in third row and third column. Hence, N becomes 3, 3. Let's say we want to say hello. We'll see the positions of H, E, L, L, O. H is 2, 3. E is 1, 5. L is 3, 1, 3, 1. And O is 3, 4. So hello becomes 2, 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 4. Now figure this out. Did you get it? Yes! Oh, Mr. Polybius will be very happy seeing your progress. So now let's try the other cipher. So now let's move on to the next cipher which is the Pigpin cipher. The Pigpin cipher was used by Freemasons in the 18th century to keep their records private. The cipher does not substitute one letter for another, rather it substitutes each letter for a symbol, where the letter shown is replaced by the part of the image in which it is located. For example, instead of A, I would write something like this. The decryption process is just the reverse of the encryption process. Use the same key, that is the grid, and you locate the image depicted in the cipher text and replace it with the letter given by that part of the grid. And this is actually A K S H A T. Akshat. Now you decipher this. Did you get it? I'm sure you did because we all love cryptography, right? Now let's move on to our last cipher of the day and that is Cardan Grill. The Cardan Grill was invented in around 1550 and belongs to the oldest encryption techniques. The code cracking tool is a template used by the sender and the receiver. The template has flaps or cells that can be opened or closed and only the person holding this template and knowing which cells to open can crack the cipher. The creator puts the template on the paper and writes their secret message with the selected open cells, which become the key to break the cipher. And then he or she creates sentences around these words or letters with the template off to make it impossible to read without a template. The sheet of paper now just looks like a regular note or a story that does not make any sense until the receiver places the template over top with the correct cells open and reveals the secret message. Did you guys like these cool ciphers? If you did, you know what to do. Share it, like it, subscribe to what's your hobby because I'll be seeing you in the next session where we'll make DIY German Enigma Code Maker. And I'm not kidding. So stay tuned to what's your hobby and I'll see you soon.